What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, we're talking to Jordan 5 Low, Girls That Hoop. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive in today's video. We're talking to Jordan 5 Low, Girls That Hoop. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first thing first, these are set to release February the 11th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $170, right? Okay, now of course, I glanced at the resale price and look like they're averaging about $195 and up, depending on the size. So not too bad on the resale market just yet, right? Okay, and I don't think they will increase. Maybe a little bit, but not too much, right? Okay, now, as you guys know, I am not a Jordan 5 Low fan. However, I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing this video? Because of the colorway, man. I gotta admit that I'm feeling this and I feel like Nike's dropping this at the right time for the ladies and fellas. The reason I wanted to do this video is if you have that special someone or a boot thing, I feel like this is a nice colorway for the ladies, right, okay? Not to mention, this is a women exclusive, right? Meaning it goes up to a man size 10 and a half and under. Not saying fellas can't rock this shoe. However, this could be a couple gold shoe if you really think about it, you know, a his and hers, you know what I'm saying? If you're a 10 and a half and under fellas, right? Okay, but neither here nor there, I think they're releasing this the perfect right around time for Valentine's Day. If you gotta keep it 100, Valentine's Day is next week, right? To the best of my knowledge. And even though I don't have a boo, but if I did, this would be something I would possibly consider getting her. Now, the only thing that's really bothering me about this shoe, other than the fact that it's a low, is that it looks like it's pink and red, right? Okay, but if you look up the official colorway, they're calling it an Arctic orange. But this, am I tripping? But this does not look like an Arctic orange. It's, it's bothering me, right? Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Sound off in the comment section, am I tripping? Because it looks like a rust pink to me, if you will. But that is not the official colorway that these are going by to the best of my knowledge. I'm seeing Arctic orange, but you guys let me know down in the comment section. Overall, these are gonna be a skip for the kid, but I gotta put this in the drip section for the ladies. And that's all I pretty much got for you guys, man. I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section, and will you be going after these on February the 11th? retailing at $170 and of course let me know if you think these are drip or skip all right man I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling man y'all be sure to hit that like button it really helps the channel out and if you're new consider subscribing I make content about sneakers again my name is Jeremy Jones and thank you for watching and I'm out